Lee, I get excited about machine tool technology, as our audience will probably know. Um, and this is certainly one to be excited about. This is the LX021 from Starag. Now this machine is, um, well, the possibilities are kind of endless, aren't they? So firstly, tell us about the part that you've got there and then let's have a look in the machine to, you know, to see how it all works. Well, this, is, this is a demonstrator part, but it's, uh, it's to show the processes that you would machine on a variable guide vane. So typical aerospace engine blade component, but involving turning, milling and drilling. Now made out of bar, tell me about what's inside this machine, um, the spindles, turning, milling, uh, the work holding, all of the things that go to make that part. And I'll take it off you because you may want to point at some of the, the, uh, the insides. Well, fir first thing to mention is there's different configurations that this machine can be built in. Well, this particular model has a spindle, it's in the vertical orientation now, but you'll see the rotation of it uh, very shortly. It's a milling spindle, 30,000 revs, it's also got a hearth coupling with eight different positions, so you can put a turning tool in and disengage from the bearings. You're not damaging the spindle when, when you're turning. So it's not only a milling machine, a five axis milling machine, it's also a turning centre as well. It's a well. turning centre, it's also a grinding centre. Um, what's happening on the, on the back here then? Let's look at the second spindle. It's obviously in the, the horizontal position at the moment, but that can change as well. And there seems to be stations on there, different stations. There's different ways to build them. So we, we start by feeding the material through the main spindles. We've got a 4,000 rev main spindle. So we start with a short piece of bar, do a preparation, turning operation. We then bring the sub spindle up, engage on the turned part of the bar and pull that bar out for the full length of the blade. So we've then got two spindles rotating at whatever speeds we need to for turning or rotating for milling as well. We've also got on this particular machine a vice configuration because towards the end of the process, once we've machined the aerofoil, we have a hole that we need to put in the end of the, the blade. So we let go of the component with the second spindle, we engage the vice around the aerofoil, we cut the blade off, we rotate it then into the vertical orientation so we can drill the hole, turn it back horizontally again and then we pick the blade up using some grippers in the spindle and put it in a tray system so we're automating the feed in, machining complete and then we're picking the blade up and loading it onto automation to take it away. All in one hit. Now it's really compact as well. Let's just move this control quickly because I want to just uh, get the camera to see this here's your tool station then, so very convenient for the operator and it looks like there's an abundance of, of, of tools in there. There's options, so you, as you can see there's three different levels and there's 30 tools per level. So this particular machine has 90 tools, you've got a bar feeder feed in, you've got your tool station here, you've obviously got your working area which is very compact and then you've got your, your feed out automation at the end. If your components couldn't be bar fed, you can actually pick your raw material up from the tray, machine it, put it back in the tray when it's finished. How, how, I mean, how are you going to program this though? It's one thing people will look at and go, God, it must be mind blowing how you're going to actually get a part like that complete in one operation, but I suppose it's all down to cam, is it clever? It's, well, it is. You can program, uh, the operator can program, but of course, a, a, a part of this complexity would be programmed in CAD CAM, seven axis machine. And what are the challenges when you're making parts like this though, keeping in intolerance, um, collisions, all of those. Of course, they're, they're all the challenges, but components of this complexity require a very good surface finish, they require a lot of uh, profile accuracy around the blade form. So they're, they're, the, they're the challenges, particularly around the leading and, and, and trailing edges. And this machine has been designed specifically for manufacturing this kind of component. So I don't think you'll find another machine in the world that manufactures these components this quickly.